In this video, we're going to start using the Jolt tokens that we're getting when the user logs in. So the way we have things set up now is the user logs in and then we store their token in the local storage, but we're not really doing anything with them yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check if the user has a token and also if the token is expired or not. Then if it's not expired, we'll log the user in. That's how we'll log, log them in. Now keep in mind, we're not actually authenticating the token. Uh, that's the job of the server. You can't do that on the client side, authenticate a token. But we can check to see if the token's expired or not. And also we can see if they do have a token. So if they, they have a token and it's not expired, we'll log them in. And when we do log them in, we could like change the view of the application. Like we could toggle these buttons off and on. Like if they're logged in, we'll have a profile link. And then if they're not logged in, we'll show them these two links. And we'll set that up in a second. Uh, let's go back to our checklist. So to make this happen, we need to do a couple things. We need to install what's called AuthO Angular 2 Jot, and then we'll set that up. And then we're gonna create a brand new logged in method. And this is gonna go inside of our auth service that we already created. And this will give us back a Boolean, true or false, if the user is logged in or not. So we'll set that up pretty soon. Uh, down in the description, you'll find this link. And this link uh, will send you to this page and here it shows you how to install and set up uh, auth o angular job so i'll just copy this and we'll be doing it the standalone way so we'll be setting up this right here uh, let's go and get this installing a while so if we go back here within your uh, spa in the command line install it while this is installing i'll shut this down and open up our service uh, inside the shared folder inside our services all service there it is and then I'll just clean this up a little bit I'm just gonna uh, close these down so I don't have to do so much scrolling and close this and this and I'll clean this up and we'll create our logged in method like right here but uh, let's import it and set it up a while so if we go back here and then copy this copy and we'll just jump back and forth copying and pasting that goes at the top then we need to create a new instance of this. So we go back here and they're already doing that here. I'll just copy this section right here and add this right below all my variables. Okay, so we're creating a new instance of our job helper service. So we should have access to a few methods. And if we go back here, so we have access to decoded token. We're actually gonna be using this in the next video. But the method we're going to be using in this video is is token expired and this is going to return us a boolean true or false so this is what we'll use so i'll just copy this piece right here and let's create our brand new logged in method and i'll add that right down here so we'll call it like logged in and then first we'll need to go out and get the uh token so const token we need to get that out of local storage Yeah, and we called it token. Okay, so now that we have our token, we want to return true or false. Uh, is the user logged in or not? So the oops, this, and then paste that uh, code snippet we got, and then change this over to token. Okay, now if the token is expired, this will be true, and I want to return false if this is true. So the way to change that is just add the, the not right there and that's it and we just set up our logged in method now we can actually start using this so let's use it within our header component if we close this down and we'll open up uh, we'll have to change both of these so let's open up the html and we'll start in the .ts file and we'll bring in our auth service first thing so uh, i'll put this on a new line public so service and then it's going to be our all service there it is and it's being brought in up here and i'll give this another nudge again that does that for some reason okay so now we could just call these methods so copy this that the the method that we just created in our auth service and we'll call that inside of our html now we're going to toggle these li's off and on if the user is logged in or not so let's start off with this one right here and uh, we're going to use a directive so a and then oh there it is and then paste and we want to call that method we just created and make sure you close it up and then if the user is uh, not logged in we want this link to show up so uh, make sure you add this at the beginning 
Okay, and we'll also add this to the login. So copy this and throw that in here. Okay, and then we'll also throw that in here and just change it around a little bit. Now this is the drop down, and we want this to show up when the user is logged in. So we'll remove this. Okay, this should work. Let's save it. And that's all we need to do to set that up. And make sure you save your, your header TS file. Save this as well. Okay, let's go back to uh, the browser. And we'll check this out. And it automatically refreshes. And as you, as you can see, the profile link is showing up. And the reason is, is we have a token and it's not expired. And that's why that's showing up. Let's go and remove this. Refresh the screen. And now that is showing up. And we'll just log in one more time just to make sure. One, two, three, four, and log in. Okay, great. Uh, now let's get this login uh, method working. So log out link working, this one right here. So let's get that working. If we go back to our header component, this is gonna be really simple to log the user out. User out. All we need to do is remove the token from the local storage. So uh, create a method called log out. And then local storage and remove item and we called it token and that's all you really need to do let's also give the user some feedback so we'll have um the alert box pop out from the side and we'll, we'll let them know that they logged out uh we need to add that service in i'll use private this time and it's called alert service so alert there it is okay so we're pulling that in and now we could use this and we'll just do that right below the uh local storage remove so uh call this alert service and it'll be a success and we'll just let them know that they logged out okay and make sure you close it up right now that this is done let's go and set up our html so we need to set up that link and that is right here and then right here so we'll add a click event and we'll remove this so click and then tab and then we want to call that logout methods there it is Okay, and that's all we really need to do. So save this and let's go check it out in the browser one more time. Go here and click log out. That should remove the token and it says that we logged out. All right, let's log back in. One, two, three, four, and log in. There's our token. Everything's working. So now in the next video, what we're going to do, decode our token so we can get the username out of the token and we'll put the username up here in the corner when the user's logged in. We'll set that up in the next video. So I'll see you then.